What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So, a lot of people in battle rap, uh, I'm hearing a lot of things about the URL and the separation of the, the app and caffeine, what's going on with that. Smack made the announcement that he's back in charge of his own business and stuff now. And he's completely un, uh, 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 independent and he going back to the URL app. He was asked these things on 15 Minutes of Fame about the URL app. He was asked questions like, you know, uh, T-Top basically was talking about he want his videos on YouTube and Smack was just letting it be known. Like, I gave YouTube 10 years of my business. I can't rock with YouTube. YouTube, they not supportive of what we do. And I can't pay these battle rappers off YouTube money. Like these battle rappers want to get paid. These battle rappers want all this amount of money, but you talking about put your videos on YouTube. Well, well how we going to compensate that if YouTube ain't really giving us money like that, but you want all this money. In order for us to give you all this money, we have to go through the app, or you can't get the money you're requesting, basically. I'm just going to keep it real with you, man. That was true. That was true. Of what Smackman was saying. Look, this is business. And he let that be known, too. Like, look, this business. This ain't personal. This ain't about friendships. And that's the thing I always been telling the battle rappers. Y'all trying to, look, it's business when it come, for, come to him. But when it come for y'all, it's more than business. Y'all have to pledge your loyalty, friendship. You have to become a part of the family. But when it come to them, it's just business. Yeah, I say family to you. I say loyalty to you. I say gang, gang to you. But in reality, it's just business, man. He just made that clear. This is a business at the end of the day. To get friendship so he know his obligations. This has been the problem with battle rappers, not knowing their obligations. Who are you loyal to? Who? Where do your devotion lie? God first, then you, then your family. God first. That's very important. Why is that important? In God, you understand who you are and you know how to walk in truth. You have the wisdom to make right choices and decisions for everything else. Disconnected from God, you cannot make those decisions and choices because you're not being influenced by the spirit of God to make those choices and decisions. That's why God is first, always first. If you put God first and the relationship is genuine and true, then what happens is you walk in the wisdom of God to make the right choices. From that, it covers everything else. Now you can be loyal to yourself to understand exactly what it is that you need to do. Then you can provide properly for your family. Y'all doing this all wrong and backwards. So once you disrupt that order, Everything fall down. So with that being said, it's a business when it come to him. But when it come to the battle rappers, it ain't about business. It's about pledging your loyalty. You have to be committed, devoted to the platform, to us. Man, get out of here with that trash. No. But that's exactly what I've been telling them from the get-go. And smack again, let it be known. I always be telling y'all the truth, man. I know how this go. I'm real good with people. I have a spirit of discernment where I can recognize a lot of things. Now, let's talk about this. 
when it comes to business for the URL, yes, that's a good business for them to do. There's nothing wrong with them having their own app where their followers and fan base can subscribe to to get their content that they're paying and coming out of their pocket with. Who are we to tell these people when it comes to them paying? They pay for that. When they pay them battle rappers, they own the content. They can do whatever they want with it because that's what they paying for. They paying for that content. If it was the record label, they paying for the songs, okay? So they can do whatever they want with the songs. So many of you people saying like, oh, YouTube, they don't need to go to YouTube if this the business. They don't. Now, the battle rappers want YouTube, but the business don't want YouTube because we make more money away from YouTube than on YouTube. If you do the numbers and look into it, YouTube was only paying them $400,000 a year. $400,000 a year. That sounds like a lot of money, but that's not a lot of money when you're paying Mook $100,000, when you're paying Lux $100,000, when you're giving Surf $60,000, when you're giving Hitman $60,000. It's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money at all. Think about that. They were getting paid that a year from YouTube. They're making over a million off the app a month, faithfully, literally, over a million. Why the hell would I go back to YouTube? I don't care what people say. I'm not shooken by it. It don't bother me. And nothing they say make any sense because I see the numbers. Let me tell you something. If URL numbers was hurting, they go back to YouTube. The moment you see them go to YouTube, that's when you know that they're not making no money like they should be on that app because they're going to capitalize from both. Here's something you don't know. they still eating off YouTube. They did YouTube for 10 years straight. So YouTube got 10 years of battles and material from them on their channel that they still collecting and eating good off YouTube without putting nothing up there. Without putting nothing up there. They still eating good off that without putting nothing up there. So they still getting YouTube money. The app, if I'm if I was smacking them, I have the app too. Would I put some battles on YouTube? Absolutely not. Why would I give you battles? The purpose is to starve you from the battles to bring you to where the battles at. I'm not gonna put no material up there. Those who rock with it, those who love the community, those who support the community, those who really rock with me, they're going to get the app anyway. The ones who not, is the ones begging for it to be on YouTube. So I ain't doing it for you niggas anyway. Keeping it real. See, I got to be battle truth, man. And I'm going to tell the truth. I got the app. I, I'm a supporter in the battle rap community. I had to be a supporter in the battle rap community. You know why? Because I'm the one who getting paid off of it and blogging. As a result of that, getting paid off of it and blogging, when I'm in a community, guess what happens? I was paying these $40, $50 events every time. I was paying for that. So as a result of paying for that, when they went from $8 a month, oh, I'm on that. I was just paying $50 a month, faithfully. So $8 a month, okay, cool. I'm getting the same battles and events and even more if I choose to for only $8 a month. I mean, I just got to keep it 100. I can't speak for everybody else. I'm speaking for myself, how it was for me. I went from paying $50 a month to $8 a month. And I was faithfully paying the 50 a month. Because that's what the job required for me to be honest in what I do, to support the battle rappers in the leagues. I get it. I respect the game. That's one thing a person can't say nothing about. So I did that. So anytime you're taking $40 off, anytime you're taking $40 off and giving me the same thing, who am I to complain? When I was faithfully buying it for 50 and would it still be doing it for 50? 
So I ain't got no problem with the app. My only problem was just always treating the battle rappers fair, doing right by the battle rappers. They shouldn't be doing free battles. You got money. Get a brother something, man. Give them something, man. Don't have brothers doing nothing. for Like, like give them something, bro. That's been my only problem, man. So I don't have no problem with the app. It's not a problem at all. Ain't nothing wrong with them doing that. You ain't got no problem with Netflix. You ain't got no problem with all these other apps all on the, these phones and things like that. Why they can't have it? Why them brothers can't have it? You mad at smacking Beasley and them for having the app? Man, do y'all thing. Y'all supposed to have the damn app. And it's a fact what he's saying. But that's why it shouldn't be no excuse of y'all paying. It shouldn't be no excuse of you paying. If you're running and channeling everything through the app where you're making the money, then you shouldn't have no problem with paying these brothers. But if you're not paying them properly the way that they should be paid, then you need to release it on YouTube so they can get whatever. You know what? See, this is what I mean about the hypocrisy of some of the things that they're requesting and saying. They're saying they want their battles on YouTube, some of them. But yet y'all have an obligation, y'all obligated and committed yourself to not wanting to battle rap on other people's platforms. But what's the purpose of putting it on YouTube for so that other people can see it when even if they want y'all, they can't even get y'all because y'all still committed to just battle rapping, battle rapping on YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, battle rapping on URL. I don't get that. So, so what's all the talking for? Like, come on, let's just be real now. That's why you need to negotiate your contracts. Like Calico and them said, like, okay, well, since you booking me and you put me in an environment where it's set up for me to lose because I ain't who you pushing, but y'all need our names to build the guys y'all pushing. So you're bringing me into a disadvantage. Then my videos ain't going to be on YouTube. You know, so I could capitalize off of it because I could go anywhere I want to go. Then I got to charge you a little extra for you to keep my content and just have it on the app where it can't be seen by nobody else because I can go anywhere I want to go. Well, if you're going to do that, then I'm charging you extra. And that's what the battle rappers need to do then. You need to renegotiate your contracts. You need to renegotiate your contracts. That's how that goes. Now, with that being said, I don't see nothing wrong with what Smack them doing. Like, I wouldn't put no videos on the YouTube neither. You starve the community and you direct them to the app. It's only $8 a month. Like, I'm just keeping it 100, man. It's only $8 a month. If you was if you if if you was around before the app, then you know the cost of how what this stuff was. You know the cost of what this stuff was. If you were paying fifty dollars a event, some people a hundred dollars a event, some people two hundred dollars a event. Now you can get it for eight dollars. Who am I to complain? Who am I to complain? I can't complain about that, and I understand what they're talking about. Smack was right. Then when he said URL, uh, when he said uh, YouTube not supporting them, he telling the truth. Let me tell y'all something. YouTube is censoring everything now. Y'all talking about, oh, they need to go to YouTube. No, they don't. YouTube take 50% of everything you get from your channel, not including your donations also. They get another 50-something percent for that too. So if a person donates some money to you because you using YouTube channel to run your channel through, you got to get them half of that. The commercials you getting on your on your channel, YouTube getting half of that. Depending on what you saying out of your mouth, then they cutting the cost of that too. We talking about battle rap, where the things that they say is against the YouTube policies, all the cussing and violence and slandering and things like that. So what happens? They don't get the commercials they 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 supposed to get. They don't get that stuff like that. So it do hurt them financially. But when you're running it through your own channel, you can say and do whatever you want. And you see all your proceeds without a middleman cutting into it. You get all your donations. You get all your viewership. You get all your subscriber money. And again, that's why it shouldn't be a problem 
with paying these battle rappers now. You have no excuse to do that. If you're going to run and, and, and channel everything through the app, then there's no excuse for you to pay these people, man. You should you, you should be paying these people the right way they need to be getting paid, man. And that shouldn't be no excuses. It shouldn't be no free labor. It shouldn't be no obligation to commit themselves to try to put them in. in. Look, if you're going to get paid off them, you should be able to give them something for getting paid off them. I don't care if it's a PG. I don't care if it's an up and coming. If you throw in a car where well, you charge people to come and see it and you getting paid off of it and any type of way, then it's only right for you to give them brothers something. No such thing as giving a person nothing by who you getting paid something from and off of. That ain't right. That ain't cool in no type of way. No matter how much sense you try to make it seem to be. Even if you say, well, I'm just giving them my platform so that they can make a name for themselves. But are you charging people to watch it? Are you charging people to come see it? Are you charging people? Okay, then you need to uh, compensate them brothers fairly, whatever it is. Give them something. No such thing in giving me nothing. You got to give me something, especially if you getting paid off of it. Do the numbers. Somehow it, it, it equal up. It round out properly. Do the numbers. So, no, I don't see no problem with what URL doing. And that's the right thing to do. And like I said, uh, 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 having your own channel, look, ain't no different than anybody else doing it. You ain't going to get mad at everybody else. So why get mad at them brothers for doing that? Man, do they thing. I think it's fair. I think the app is very fair. It ain't nothing to complain about. Because I'm going to keep it real. Sometimes battles be so fire, I will pay $8 just for one, just to see one battle, let alone the whole card. I only got to pay $8. I would have paid, paid $8 to see Mook and Geechee alone. I probably would have paid 30 40 to just see that battle by itself. And all I had to pay was $8 to see it. No, at that time, it was for free. So come on, man. This is the stuff we finna be getting on the cards. Major cards only for $8. My only thing, like, if they can improve something, this is the thing that I would want them to improve. If you're going back strictly to the app and you're doing a major event every month, then at least drop the card. Drop the whole card. Stop dropping them one at a time. You ain't got to do that. Drop the whole card then on the app. That's how you get people to come on there. Don't drop them one at a time. Drop the whole entire card on the app so everybody can run on the app and buy it. Damn, if you're going to do business, do business. I know what you thought was strategic, but that's not strategic. If you're doing a major event every month, drop it on the app. Be like, hey, we doing this event is going to be on the app. We dropping the whole card on the app. So get the get the uh app. We dropping the whole card on the app. Everybody gonna do it. They're gonna go over to the app, they're gonna pay the eight dollar. That money's clear. You're doing it every month. So it does them no, it makes them no sense to unsubscribe from the app when you're dropping major cards every month. Drop the whole card. Stop doing it one at a time. One battle here, one battle there, long break here. Man, drop the whole card on the app, man. Drop the whole entire card on the app. And when people pay for it, that's they whole that's the whole month anyway. That's they eight dollars whole month anyway. Man, my gosh. I'm just trying to help you, brothers. We're gonna drop two here. Then next week we dropping another one. Then next week we dropping another two. Man, drop the whole card. That is so weak. Now, that's what's weak. That's what y'all need to fix. You drop the whole card, I guarantee you, your number's going to skyrocket. People going to uh, be running over to that app. They're going to run over to that app, and they're going to get, get it. And actually, um, when they go over to the app, they're going to get it faster. Faster. Because the whole card drop. Imagine, you'd be like, man, we dropped the whole card. They dropped the whole card over there. You're going to go get it. You're going to go get it. You drop it one battle at a time. Like, well, they just dropped that one. People going to hesitate. You drop the whole card, people going to rush. People going to rush to go, go subscribe and get it, to watch it. So drop the whole card. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment lesson question. It's yours.